Hi, and welcome back to 305 Tech. If this is your first time here, welcome. Today we're going to be opening a brand new Lenovo ThinkPad P15V Generation 2. As you can see, this laptop is brand new. We're going to be opening it up and seeing what upgrade options we have. I have a few things uh, we can do with this laptop. Let's open her up and see what upgrade options we have. As always, we're going to be using our iFixit kit. This is a number one Philips, and I'm also going to be using a plastic spudger slash pry tool. You will need some type of uh, SIM card extractor or a paper clip before we remove the bottom cover. The configuration of this laptop is as follows. Again, this is a ThinkPad P15V Gen 2. It comes with an Intel 11th generation Core i9-11950H. This is an eight core 16 thread CPU with uh, 24 megs of cache. It comes with an Nvidia RTX A2000, four gigabyte graphics card. I would say tailored more for graphic designers and 3D rendering. This laptop came with 16 gigabytes of RAM. This is DDR4 and also a one terabyte SSD and VME drive. So the first thing we're going to be doing is upgrading the RAM, removing the 16 gigabytes and installing this 64 gigabyte DDR4 kit. So let's go ahead and do that now. If you're interested in any of these upgrades or any of the parts that I use, please take a look at my Amazon affiliates link in the description down below. One of the great features about this laptop that not many laptops have nowadays is the ability to install two NVMe drives. Theoretically, you can set up two drives in a RAID 1 configuration, which uh, will give you some physical redundancy if you ever had a catastrophic failure in one of these drives, assuring you don't have any type of data loss. In this case, what we're going to be doing is removing this drive and installing this uh, Samsung 980 Pro, which is again, one of the best drives in the market right now, if not probably the best NVMe PCIe Gen 4 drive in the market right now. As I previously mentioned, we have an available NVMe slot for any additional drives that we want to add in the future, if needed be. We have, however, maxed out the maximum supported memory for this configuration, which is again, 64 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM.
The very last step before putting back the bottom cover is to turn on the computer and make sure that both the hard drive and both memory sticks are detected during post. The first time you turn on the device might take up to 30 seconds and sometimes even longer to post. In our case, the system took over two minutes to do a full post and it even cycled once. Again, you just have to be patient and let it do its thing. As you can see, all the RAM is detected. And as we can see, the hard drive was properly detected. So now we're good to shut down the computer and put the lid back on. So the very last step is I'm going to clone the data from the factory drive, which brings the factory Lenovo image. So I'm going to clone it from here onto this drive and then we're good to go. I hope you found this video informational. Please leave a comment down below if you have any questions or comments. Please hit the like button, share it with your friends and subscribe if you want to keep watching content such as this. I'm Will from 305 Tech and thanks for watching.